Hello, welcome to some more Tesla news. We got news on the Model S, the Model X, the Model 3, some Tesla Energy news. All right, first off, the Tesla Model S and X are getting a big software update next month. Uh, Elon tweeted out that they're going to be able to do 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds with this new Easter egg. So the, the Model S will be the fastest production car in the world, which is really cool. And <laughs> they're also hinting at, uh, well, not hinting, flat out saying that there's going to be an update to the, the mobile app for Tesla, so it'll be better. It'll be interesting to see what it is. It's probably going to be something to do with the superchargers, I bet, where you can add your credits for after you use your, your you know, approximately 1,000 miles of free supercharging. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, comment in below. What do you guys think? What do you think the new update's going to be for the, for the phone app? Pretty interesting news from Turo. They're, they're the little app that allows you to rent out your car. They're saying that Tesla owners earn $923 on average renting out their car just seven days a week. So if you got a Model S and you need to make the payment, you can rent it out for a week. <laughs> Over in Russia, there's over 300 Tesla owners and there's no Tesla presence, so there's no shop to fix them. So the owners over there created their own little shop to work on Teslas and create a, their own little um, network with SIM cards and things to do updates and it's kind of interesting. Should check out in, in the link below what they're doing over in Russia. In Tesla Model 3 news, Elon has been dropping some hints that in three to four months there'll be another unveiling, part three of the Tesla Model 3. So that'll probably show off the interior, what the steering wheel or dashboard layout's going to be. So that, that, that's going to be pretty interesting. He also said that the Model 3 is going to include free long distance supercharging. So, I don't know if you want to interpret that as the, the free 100 miles annually, or if it's going to be some kind of geofenced location-based thing. What do you guys think? Model X news? Not a whole lot of Model X news other than, I'm getting a Model X. I sold, or I'm selling my Model S, and I'm getting a Model X, and it should be done around Christmas time. So it's going to be a P90D. Oh, I wish it was going to be P90D. It's going to be... A 90D red six seat configuration, and it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to have the full autonomous self driving, which I'm very excited about. I'll show it off in the video as soon as I get it. In other Model X news, Consumer Reports did not give a favorable review this year on terms of reliability. They would only recommend it for early adopters because there were some several issues with the Model X uh, early in its production. Supposedly, most of them are fixed now, a lot of them were related to the doors. I'll find out at the end of the month. Uh, hopefully mine will be much smoother and the bugs will be worked out from the get-go. Can't wait to try it out. It's going to be awesome. On Tesla Energy News, Tesla has finally merged with SolarCity. So they're probably going to be dropping the SolarCity name and it's all going to be Tesla all the time. Which yeah, is alright. Tesla's pretty cool. And they said that more than 85% of the shareholders voted for the Tesla merger. And Elon also said that the solar roofs are probably going to cost less than traditional roofs. So that's pretty cool. My guess is that the tiles are going to be what he's talking about, like clay tiles versus like asphalt roofs. Those are pretty big difference in price. So I, I bet it's going to fall somewhere in between. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully they'll announce them soon. Other EV news, the Chevy Bolt is being produced and shipped out to California and Oregon. They gave up on the nationwide release this year. They said they're going to slowly roll them out next year. My dealership in Riverton said they're not going to get them. Uh, apparently they're requiring that you get DC fast charging at all the dealerships and they don't want to pay for it. <laughs> so they also said they can't even service it, which is really kind of sad. And it's interesting to think about because that means that their idea of building a supercharger network. So this basically means that Chevy's plan for ch charging is going to be telling all their dealerships to put in supercharger or put in DC fast charging so that if you're in any town that has a Chevy dealership they'll have a way of fast charging the car but they're not paying for it they're making the dealerships pay for it and the dealerships don't want to pay for it so I don't know how well this is going to turn out <laughs> well we'll have to wait and see um, the Bolt was awarded car of the year by Motor Trend so I don't know maybe the accolades will help with that let me know what you guys think 
Um, I'm not holding my breath. I'm actually building my own charging network. If you want to check it out, it's wildwestev.com. We're putting superchargers all over Wyoming and probably uh, into Colorado, Utah, uh, Idaho, Montana maybe. Let me know what you guys think below and just uh, please subscribe. And you know, there's like a little thing to buy electricity for my Tesla if you're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Come out and play! Uh, like when they do music videos and, and there's a beat and it kind of goes blurry, like, you know, like, like with the bass. Like, <laughs> Come out and what is that? Okay, where is it saying? If you don't understand how it's a huge deal, start watching all the videos. Another game save exploit. The cool thing about this one is it works with all these things across the board. I know I could get at least 5,000 down the street. Looks strong to me. Yes, it's a lie. I'm Yago. I'm Couch Guy. Hi, I'm Box. And I'm Raggable. Pretty cool stuff, huh? What? And where can you find that? You better go wait outside. We don't, we don't want any trouble.